Hi, I'm James, and welcome to this video on candlestick trading. This is the second one in the series, and I'm going to be talking about my most exciting and interesting and powerful candle pattern, and that's the engulfing candle. 20 years ago, when I started trading currencies for a fund, uh, candles weren't as well known or as popular, but they've become recognized as one of the most powerful instruments that you can use on your charts, and I'm going to tell you how I use the engulfing pattern. And whilst you're inside, please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell. It really helps this channel, and it helps you to get the information when I publish it as soon as it comes out. Right, so I'm back in the office. We just happened to be away on what some might call an African safari uh, in a game reserve, and that's where I filmed the intro to this. And just so happens that as we're talking about engulfing candles, um, we've got some on the current chart. So I think the easiest way to explain some of this is to go through the charts that we see in front of us. So this is real life, uh, real time trading. And uh, we're just going to have a look at a couple of these. Um, and the first one we'll look at, the most interesting one of all of these actually, is the euro against the US dollar, which also happens to be one of the most uh, frequent, uh, or the, the currencies most frequently traded the most popular currencies, and makes up the bulk of the dollar index. So it's a really important currency pair, and it sees a lot of volume. Now, an engulfing candle is simply a candle which uh, engulfs the previous candle. It could be bullish or bearish, and I'll show you a couple of examples quickly on this chart before we go into the engulfing candle setup. And then I'm going to show you some bar-by-bar -bar replays of how I actually traded this pattern that's on the chart right in front of you. So I think that'll be pretty useful. So a candle is essentially a representation of the price action over a particular period. And we often look at uh, periods like five minutes, 15 minutes, one hour, one day, one week, one month even. I tend to trade one hour and one day charts. And what I have in front of me here is a euro against the US dollar one day chart. And uh, we're going to look at the last couple of days here. And this is where the trading action has currently been. So let's just zoom in on this and have a wee look at what's going on. Now, we want to focus on this candle here. I'm going to highlight it in the drawing on the chart uh, in this video. But you can see what we have here is um, this candle, this black candle, which is a bearish candle, uh, engulfing the body of the white candle. Now, the candle is made up of four different price levels, the high and the low, which is represented by the wicks, the top of the wick, which is this part here, uh, the top wick, the bottom wick, and the bottom part here, the body, the bottom of the body is the closed price, the top of the body is the open price for that day. And the same goes for all the other candles. And candles are really the best way to look at charts because they give you a visual representation, a very clear picture of what's going on in the markets. And uh, for that reason, they're very popular. They haven't been... Um, as popular as they are now in the past, um, they were pretty unknown. But candlestick trading has taken up over bar charts and line charts and various other for forms of charts, point and figure charts, Renko charts. There are all sorts of types. Candles are the simplest and easiest and best visual representation of what's going on. An engulfing candle is this candle here, where the body of this candle, in this case it's a bearish engulfing candle, is larger and engulfs the body of the preceding bullish candle. Now, if you want to know more about what candles are and what they represent, there's a, another video in this series on my YouTube page here, which goes into what candles are. But you can also Google it. You can go and do some research. There are a couple of books which I recommend. One is um, one author in particular is Steve Nissen. Um, and uh, he wrote uh, several books on Japanese candlestick charting techniques. Highly recommended. Um, I mentioned, I think, in the last video that I'd lost mine, and I've just reordered them. They're pretty expensive, but really good. Now, um, so you can find out more about candlesticks on those charts. But the engulfing candle uh, is uh, a reversal candle, and it takes place when the body of the current candle, the one that's busy closing, engulfs the body of the previous candle. And in this case, you can see this bearish body, the black body of the, of the current candle on the chart. This is, this is the current one, but the one before that uh, engulfs the body of the preceding candle. And that's called a bearish engulfing candle. Don't worry about the size of the wicks. 
um, or um, whether they're big or small, um, long, short, doesn't matter. It's the body of the candle that we're looking at in this case. Some candle patterns look at the wicks. This candle pattern looks at the body. And when you see an engulfing pattern like this, it means that we're due for a reversal in direction on the on the charts, in the in the price, in the market. It's not 100% guaranteed. No patterns are, no indicators are, no analyses are ever 100% guaranteed. That's why no one wins 100% of their trades. But this gives you a really good example or a good indication of a reversal that's about to take place. The way to trade a bearish or a bullish engulfing candle, before I go into that, let me just show you some examples of bullish engulfing candles. And there are all sorts of patterns on here, and we're going to go into all of them, uh, all of the important ones throughout this series. But um, I'm going to be focusing on, on engulfing candles in this video. And here are two bullish engulfing candles in a row. There's one there. You can see this bullish candle. It's got very few wicks. In fact, it's a shaven bottom. That's another pattern we'll look out for in the future videos, uh, a shaven bottom. But you can see the body of this white candle completely engulfs the preceding body of the bearish candle. That's a bullish engulfing candle pattern. And here we have another bullish engulfing candle pattern. There are two in a row. You can see a bullish reversal took place on this one in particular. And another bullish reversal took place here after a dip down and a move back up. Another bullish candle pattern. And you can see in both of those examples, the market carried on in the direction of the bullish trade. But we're now looking at this bearish candle. I'm going to show you how to trade it. The most important thing that you need to take away from this initial part of the video is when you get an engulfing candle, it signifies a potential reversal. It doesn't guarantee a reversal. It signifies a potential reversal. And we want to know how to trade that. So the second important takeaway of this part of the video is that when you do see these reversal candle patterns like a bearish or a bullish engulfing candle pattern, we want to make sure that they take place at levels on the chart which make sense. Levels on the chart which make sense. We'll talk about that towards the end of the series. This is really, really important. But we want to only trade these candle patterns at particular levels on the charts. And those levels are defined by things like Fibonacci levels, by trend lines, horizontal lines of support and resistance, and also certain moving averages, which act as support and resistance. I don't use moving averages for necessarily for trend direction or for crossovers or anything of that sort because they are lagging indicators, but they do indicate uh, potential support and resistance levels. So first important thing, these signify uh, these patterns, bearish and bullish engulfing candle patterns signify potential reversals. And secondly, look for those reversals at points on the chart which makes sense where you would expect a reaction to take place. And those levels would be Fibonacci lines, trend lines, horizontal lines of support and resistance and moving averages. And there are a couple of other ones which we will talk about in one of the following videos. I think once we've finished going through the major candle patterns. Second thing now we need to talk about is how to trade this. Well, a bullish or a bearish engulfing candle often has a large range. As you can see here from the high to the low, this is the euro. We go from 1.0735 down to the bottom at 0.1095, 9495. That's 180 pips from the top to the bottom. That's a large range on that candle. If you have a look at these other two that I showed you earlier, you can see the range of this bullish engulfing candle goes from 0.9740 odd to 0.9940. Let's call that 210 pips. This is about the same size. So we get large ranges on these candles. That means that we need to actually be patient before we get into trades. In this case, in the bearish engulfing candle case, we want to be trading short. But ideally, we don't want to be trading short at the close of the candle. This is a day chart. Now, remember, all of these candle patterns apply equally to weekly charts, to daily charts, four hour charts, hour charts, 15 minute charts, five minute charts, and dare I say, even one minute charts. However, they're much more powerful when they're applicable and applied to the larger time frames like day charts and weekly charts. Bear that in mind. The smaller time frames you start to look at when you start going down to hour and below, 15 minutes, half an hour, 
uh, five minute charts, these candle patterns become less reliable and you're prone to more fake signals. And we want to really be looking at these ideally on the day chart or the weekly chart, perhaps even the four hour chart and, and the hour chart. We'll have a look at the hour chart. I'm going to show you how to trade, how I did actually trade this pattern. I'm going to do a bar replay, as I said. But what we want to do is before we get into the trade, now we've got a reverse. We know we want to go short. It's a bearish engulfing candle. But the best thing is to do to do is to wait for the price to retrace back into the body of the engulfing candle. In that case, it means the price needs to retrace higher because it's a bearish candle. If it was a bullish candle like we have over here, we want the trade the, the price to retrace lower like it did here. So there's the bullish candle. We want the price to come back into the body of the bullish candle. In other words, move lower. In the case of a bearish engulfing candle, we want the price to retrace upwards into the body of the candle uh, before entering the trade. And a good rule of thumb is to either wait for it to get to about 38.2, that's a Fibonacci level, or 50% or even 61.8% um, of, the, of the, the size of that candle before looking to take the trade. 50% is a good estimate. So uh, if this has moved uh, 200 pips, for example, we'd like to see a something around about 100 pip retracement before getting into the trade to trade short. The reason for that is because, first of all, we can test the retracement, see if it holds, see if the price rejects off that retracement level. And secondly, we can get in with a much smaller stop loss because we've gone up towards the area where the stop loss needs to be. And that's above, in this case, a bearish candle, above the bearish reversal candle. Now, that's all a lot to be said. And there's a lot of um, discussion to be made on all of these points. It's very difficult to com communicate this in a short video. Having said all of that, I think the concepts that you um, are listening to, you can perhaps write down, think about them, do some more research. But basically, a bearish engulfing candle, we want to trade it short when we're at particular levels, levels that make sense on the chart. But we try to get in on a retracement rather than straight away. And that retracement should be about 50% back up in the case of a bullish, a bearish candle or 50% back down in the case of a bearish uh, bullish candle. Now, I'm going to try and show you how I traded these uh, patterns, this particular one, uh, in real time by doing a bar replay, which kind of replays how the bars moved. Uh, I'm going to do it on an hour chart, and I'm going to do it on, I think, a 15, 5 or 15 minute chart. I've already set it up for you. So we're going to have a look at that now. Um, but before we do that, I'd encourage you to please like and subscribe to this channel. I'd really appreciate it. I'm not going to ask you again. I know it's annoying and boring and repetitive and tedious, but it really does help the channel and it helps me to uh, develop the channel and get the news out that we're doing this sort of uh, educational stuff on YouTube for traders. So I'd really appreciate that. And if you want to get these videos the moment they come out, subscribe and press the uh, notification bell and you'll get an alert to your phone, your laptop, Whatever device you're using, you'll get the alert. Let's go and have a look at how I traded these. I'll talk you through it as I run it through. So this is the same chart, but looked at on an hourly basis. And you can see the engulfing candle formed on the hourly chart as well, which gave us an opportunity to trade this looking at the shorter time frame. And what we wanted was a retracement back to the levels inside the hourly chart. Now we have to actually sell at the top of this move you'll see shortly I'm just running the replay and uh, let's just let this run through a wee bit uh, we sold at the top and there is the reason for the sell uh, because we reached the resistance level um, right at the top there as we saw there and now we're pulling back down beneath that trend line and we want to sell pullbacks and you can see every time we pull back into that engulfing candle remember what it looks like on the day chart we start to add sell positions so we have pulled back about halfway on the hourly chart and every time we reach that halfway pullback about the 50 percent retracement there's a 61.8 percent retracement that last one there and we start to sell at those levels when we see little spike highs on the hourly charts and we're looking for a break beneath that trend line again for a move lower and that's exactly what we see eventually the trend line breaks and the market begins to move lower now this was all set up from that bearish engulfing candle on the daily chart 
and we started to sell the pullbacks into that candle. Now, we can actually have a look at this on a five minute chart as well. If you're sort of a day trader or a scalper, more of a short term trader, and you'll see the same sort of thing uh, occurring on the five minute chart. So here we go. This is the five minute chart. You can see we're going to run it through. We sold at the top because that was a res resistance level on the charts. And now we're waiting for the little pullbacks on the five minute chart. And you can see every time we pull back to that 50% retracement level, we were able to sell into those rallies. And there we go. So there you have it. The most important candlestick of them all, in my opinion, the bearish or the bullish engulfing candle. You've seen how to identify them on the charts. We've got some of the charts in front of us. Actually, if you look at all of these charts, and this is pretty current, this is uh, from Friday, it's now Sunday. You can see there are quite a lot of bearish engulfing candles on the charts and not only on currencies. If you look at gold and you look at the Nasdaq and you look at the S&P index and all sorts of other things, there are bearish engulfing candles everywhere. And that's why we sent out signals uh, last week um, to sell across the board. And so far, so good. We've been very profitable. And if you want to get more of these signals, uh, just go and have a look at Arcus FX. The, the link is on this page somewhere below or to the right and uh, have a look at that and you can subscribe for 30 days free of charge and try it out. It's very difficult to identify all of these patterns uh, if, if you're new to it or if you're not familiar with it or just getting used to it um, and then also to learn how to trade them in real time but you can learn all of that at arcusfx.com and what I've just shown you on these videos today uh, you can learn in real time live with our signals and with some of our training material. Look forward to seeing you there. Take care. Hope you've enjoyed it.